Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Double Driver from Common Rider Double. It's been quite a while um, for this review. I have a hard time getting my hands on it and affording it, but I finally got one not too long ago. But enough about that, let's get started with the review of the packaging. Um, nice picture of Double, Cyclone Joker here, and uh, Heat Joker and Lunar Joker. Picture of the belt here shows Joker Memory, which is you get from Shotaru's. And Phillips, you get Cyclone, Heat, and Luna. And on the side, nice picture of Cyclone Joker. Um, another picture of Cyclone Joker. On the top shows a little picture of him with the memories, the name of the uh, item. On the bottom shows the memories again, same picture. And on the back we have showing the functionality and the memories. Okay, so let's set the box aside and bring the belt out. Um, here is the belt, which I've already customized, uh, a quick customization. I'm going to do a better one later. Um, so here's the belt. Uh, and the belt on its own is just a piece of plastic, none of the electronics are in it. But it looks really nice, like the paint in here is done in a really nice glossy red and kind of a shiny silver and the see-through here is good. And it just overall looks very nice and uh, very mechanical. And the belt here is pretty standard, here's my Velcro strap customization. And here's the maximum drive slot which looks okay and there's a nice W right here. And of course you get the Gaia Memories, Cyclone, Joker, um, Luna, and heat. So most of you by now probably know how this works. We'll put the memory in corresponding to the color at the bottom of the USB and it'll make a standby noise and then finally for Henshin. So let's do Cyclone Joker first. And then the two colors will converge and light up for a few seconds. Very nice. Okay, so then we'll take it out. I'm going to make those noises. And let's switch uh, Cyclone for Lunar. Luna. And once again, the colors converge for a few seconds. Now for heat. Whoops. Okay. And they'll converge again. And just to show you what happens if you put two of the same side on, they'll just talk at the same time, but the colors will still converge. Talk at the same time, you still get the Christmas colors and they still converge. Okay, so now the next noises for this is the maximum drive slot, which I'm just going to take off. It's easier. So just put it in the maximum drive slot and it'll say whatever the memory is, maximum drive, and then make a, a, a starting up noise and then push this button to finish it. So let's start with Cyclone. So there we have Cyclones, Jokers, Luna, Oops. Okay, so that's about it for the sounds for all the um, USB or the memories for Henshin and um, Maximum Drive. Overall, this belt's really fantastic. There's a lot of playability and a lot of fun that can be had from it. It is a little bit pricey, um, starting with the decade, uh, decade items uh, belts started becoming more pricey, but it's definitely worth it. If you're a double fan, I highly recommend this belt. Um, it's just definitely a great belt. Um, 
I know I said I was going to go over the metal memory in this one, but due to my camera battery um, always running out, I'm going to have to do a quick review of that. So I'll do Fang memory review next, and then I'll do a quick review of the candy toy metal memory. Um, even though there's about five or four to five minutes left in this video time, um, my video camera <clears throat> always runs out of batteries really fast. But um, overall, this is an outstanding belt. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10 if you're a double fan. It's definitely worth it. Um, and before I even do the metal memory review, I can say that the um, real memories are better than the candy toy memories by far. But so my next review will be Fang Memory, and hopefully I'll be able to spend a little more time on it and the quick review of the metal memory. So until my next review, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.